Uh, Andy, tough one to take, obviously, but not a bad performance from the boys all round. Performances don't win games, though, do they? Unfortunately, um, I felt first half we did we did well. Uh, we dominated most of the play. We played some good football against a, a team that are going for the playoffs, and I think they scored. It could be a dubious free kick, um, poor free kick to score, uh, to concede. And then the second half, there's just there's nothing in it until they're sending off. And uh, I think we've let ourselves down with that. Um, it's just a long ball, straight ball down the middle. Um, and we've not dealt with it well enough. And then there's obviously the consequences of the penalty and the red card and then scoring the penalty is, is, is not great. And uh, I don't think the scoreline reflected the, the, the flow of the game really. but. At the end of the day, it's whoever wins the game takes takes points home. So I'm really disappointed. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, you had words with the referee and Neil when he made his decision. It seemed to be the linesman who gave it. What did what did he have to say for uh, it? Well, I was asking if the the advantage was given because of the uh, the penalty was the advantage, so yeah. it wasn't a red card. But it would be say the ref was saying because of the keeper was out his net. Um, it was basically going to be a goal, so uh, he had to send him off, which is obviously is the ref. He knows the rules. I was just trying to question his, question his decision really, I think. Um, I don't know who actually get. I think the reliance been flagged, but I think the referee was going to give it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a, it's just a poor, poor penalty to give away. Um, like I say, it was one long ball from our attack. And uh, it's with consequences of a red card and a, and, a, and a goal scored against us and it's changed the game. And uh, obviously you move on to Maidstone now, a uh, chance to regroup and uh, hopefully pick up some points again. Yeah, it's it's hard to move to, to move on so quickly. Obviously, um, everyone's gutted. Uh, so I will reflect on it tonight, and then come in on Monday, and then just sort of have a fresh start. And we need to put it right. We need to get this home form sorted. The last three years I've been here, we've been really strong at home, and uh, I don't know what's different this year. So um, it's just let us down for the course of the season, and obviously it's it's going to be too late now if we, if we start turning it around with six games to go at home. Um, but it's just really disappointing because, like I say, we've been so strong over the previous years at home, so um, it's just it's just disappointing. Uh, obviously, you're still, uh, still mathematically in it and keep pushing until the end of the season. That's the beauty of it, isn't it, that you're, you're mathematically still in it, so you're just going to go until it's, it's impossible. Um, but we just can't keep coming, coming into these interviews and saying the same thing, that we're mathematically in it after losing games. Just gone and won two away games, like not very nice places to go, and we've picked up six points. So there's no reason why we couldn't have gone and got three points today. So, um, like I say, we can't just keep coming and saying I'm mathematically in it because one day it's not going to happen, and we're going to be out of it, and then that's it. And then we're going to look back on it and think, oh, we've let ourselves down with our home performances and, and performances over the season that we've not picked up points that we should have. Mm. Um, but we'll go again on Tuesday, and like I say, we'll, we'll fight to the to the final whistle until it's impossible not to get that playoff spot. Yeah, still obviously plenty of positives to take with the uh, the trip to Wembley at the end of the season, and fans still in fairly strong voice uh, despite the loss today. It's uh, it's not, I can't look forward to it because uh, I'm, I'm I just can't I can't say I'm looking forward to it right now. So um, I'll get the season finished, and then we've got two weeks three weeks break from that once the season finishes where we can prepare for that game properly but for now I'm just uh, trying to get my head over today and then go again for Tuesday. Andy, thanks very much. No problem mate. Okay.